Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. In today's episode is 1246, same day as yesterday for me because it has to be. There is no time. I'm not getting in a habit of recording these one minute before midnight, and by midnight I mean the upload time. How are you doing? How's it going? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Good to see you. Uh, not a lot today. It's Wednesday for me, I think. Is it Wednesday? Yeah, I gotta keep track because suddenly Monday's gonna sneak up on me and I'm gonna go, ah, shit. I don't want a repeat of... <laughs> last Sunday where I go, oh, I have a big deadline tomorrow. I need to put 12 hours in. It'd be much better if I put like three hours in over four days or like two hours in over six days than it is to put in 12 hours on one day, you know? But regardless, we're back on track, uh, I hope. Uh, anything interesting today? No, not really. It's not been a long time in my day. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. Hope you're well. Hope you're hanging in there. I've been... Oh god, pardon me. I've been, uh, I've been fine. I'm, I'm alright. Nothing, nothing exciting. Let's just, let me ask you a question and let's do one. I have nothing to tell you because this is my second intro of the day. Repeat intros really start to get tough. Because, you know, that's how it is. So let me ask you a question. I remembered the question I asked in the original video that I lost two days ago for you now. Uh, which was, tell me about Easter eggs in video games. Do you have any cool Easter eggs that you like or like fun secrets that you remember finding? Uh, I have I played through Braid recently, and that game is the source of this question, but I don't want to tell you about it because it would ruin the, the the series if you're planning on watching it. It's like a surprise in the series of me going, oh. So, you know. But, yeah, there's a few others that I can think of. I think that... I, I personally think that the coolest secret in video games are, are ones that are in, like, big multiplayer games where people can find it out together. And, like, it's it's something that's really well hidden, you know? Like, I think, I don't know if there's been any recently in World of Warcraft, but I remember there being some pretty good ones in World of Warcraft back in the day where people would band together to try and find them. I didn't join in on that because I was young and stupid. But I think those are fun more, more than anything else where you can go like, oh, did you guys know you can do this? I found it. But yeah, you let me know. You got any cool ones? Let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Today's XL Umbra Stygian. Full sucker, shadow, chased, making, offering, crucible extension. I've been kind of wanting to try to push myself to get a big win streak, but I also don't want to do that because uh, when I lose win streaks because of something stupid, it's, I'm, I'm very, it's not good for me. Uh, Teeth of gold is awful, so I'll pick lightstone casing. But like, I think that I'm gonna go through a sequence here. Basically, what I'm what I'm saying is I'm gonna go through a sequence where I just pick the things that are good and. We're going to see how far we can go. Let's just start off not too good here. Uh, I can go superfood, probably. I can probably go superfood. I think it's a little better than stalwart snack. Although stalwart snack would let me get aggressive. I think it's better to go... Mm, let's go stalwart snack. Let's try playing a stalwart snack and then putting a siren... Or not a siren, a sweeper in the field and see how that goes. I think it'll be bad. But we can try it. So I can see aggressive edible, we can make the sweeper very big. The problem is that there's no buff. I think this clan combo is a very bad one for me to start this new resolution on. We skip trial here for sure. But we'll see. I should play Plink first. You know, I, I, I have to iron out those little things. It shouldn't make a difference, but it could. And then we get a collector, very nice. It's default Stygian secondary, which is... Good or bad, I'm not sure. Not 100% convinced either way yet. To play... Good job, Flink. Great work. Now that does lead me to taking two here. And there is no out. Unfortunately, so I don't want to waste my damage on this enemy that's going to hit me no matter what. Setting it to 1 or 7 is the same. Indeed. Uh, you are a similar foe. Living just barely. It's worth planking down here? Yeah, never mind. And I guess it's still worth it. Because it's, it's worth checking because there's a chance I get the 6 health. Or 6 attack more so I'm going to kill this enemy. But we're going to take 4. Not the end of the world. Not that big of an issue. Now, in my mind's eye, I just want to play Scale a Sweeper. But I think the Scale a Sweeper is going to be a little bit weak. Because, well, you know, there's not great scaling in this clan combo. 
There's perils. It's not ideal, but like it's fine. It's a scaling line where there may not be one otherwise. I think Crypt Builder here. Oh dear. I mean, I really don't want to play an Umbra unit. I guess I could find Morsel Maker, though. That unit's okay as an infusion. But I don't get a Stygian banner for a while. I mean, this is like. I'm gonna go Stygian banner here. Magic Shop is fine too. Yeah, Sirens are okay. I definitely don't play Nameless Siren in the Chase Seraph, though. That's fine. That's alright. A holdover. In this economy for perils? Okay, okay, I'm interested. Yeah, you got me, I'm in. This is what this does is it leads us to being okay with either uh, either superfood or aggressive edible now because we can play holdover maybe intrinsic later if it shows up on perils. No value stones. We don't need big pack shards for fun. Siren of the Sea Infusion, probably okay. I'm, I'm feeling okay about this one now. We're going to be very much Ember Dream, but that's fine. The real question mark is how am I going to keep Primordium alive at this point in the long term? What was the trial? I think it was an invasion trial. Yeah, that wasn't good. I would not pick that. Even with Plank, I think it's too risky. Because if you have a bad draw, we just lose our Siren and die. And that would not be ideal. I'm making sure I do things like Frozen Lance this enemy when I can. We want to we want to give it the best we can. Make sure I remember to bring this enemy into death range. And you may as well play Crypt Builder. No reason not to. Hold over perils. Primordium is dying eventually, but it's okay. Up until the Divinity, Morsels are actually really good. Morsel Miner is a 6-6 six, six every time you play it. That card is extremely good. The only reason it gets a bad rap in my mind is because of the Divinity. I'm sure you can imagine. The Divinity, I mean, sweeping is just bad. Is it really worth it to keep this morsel alive? I mean, it's pretty worthwhile, but it's kind of tough as well, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it's like, it's a convenience thing more than anything else. Prismal Dust is good. Not today, Mollusk Mage. Not today. I could take the targeted ping and Flash Freeze. That card's fine. Flash Freeze, nothing crazy, but it's not bad. Now, I could go look for a Stygian Sweeper. When's my next steel shop? Far away. Oh my. But we could also go to the steel shop and just completely miss. But, I don't know. I want to play the sweep line, but I think it's wrong to try and force it with no steel shops coming up for a while. But this also could just be completely worthless. It's like marginally worthless. The only thing that could have been there was multi-strike. Texas spike? Can I do anything fun with this? Not really. I'll just purge a plank. Texas spike doesn't sound that good here. Actually, frozen lances. Yeah, Frozen Lance is worse than Blink. Sad as it is to say, Frozen Lance does very little, even though, like, I'm not playing Morsel, so Blink is fine. I'm not happy about it, but it's fine. We can also play Holdover, Intrinsic, and then one other thing on Perils, like Spell Chain, if we want to. It's pretty cool. It's a lot of rage. It becomes like a free ritual battle, but uh, not quite right, it's six rage. Pretty solid, though. Now I'm hoping for super food. I think super food is worth more. It's a little rough on the divinity, but we'll see. We'll see what we see here. Definitely just a hit density problem, though. If I see a trample stone here, I think this run is pretty much in the bag. Done and dusted. I'm gonna try to fight the hit density problem where I can. Let's try I'm hitting enough times. Pick off enemies here and there. You are sapping me, aren't you? That's not very nice. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably best to take this, this pick. Nah, I think I'll be fine. 
It's close though, but I think I have just enough to yeah, kill two at the least and if Plink doesn't completely miss there, which it didn't. Great job, Plink. Great job, Plink. Great to everyone. Round of applause to Plink. No negative comments in my Plink's presence. Plink did a great job on that turn. <laughs> I did not see any 1 in 25s happen, did you? No, I didn't think so. No, I sure didn't. I didn't think you did either. Thank you, Plank. Very cool. I don't need Crucible Extension. The Frostbite probably does best here. Yeah, because it sets this enemy to do less. It's saving me two at the very least. Yeah, two damage. Either way, right? Because if I ping one of the back lines, it's saving me one, saving me two. Pretty minor. Come on, Plank. Great job, everyone. Round of applause to Plank. Maybe what we need to do is we need to give Plank more positive reinforcement. That might be the problem. I'm gonna go ahead and press end turn now because I don't feel like playing all these cards. There's no way that this fight comes even close. I play a few more. Good job. I still haven't finished my coffee, by the way. I've been drinking this for a while. I actually went and I got some ice for it to warm or to cool it off to warm it up. No. Forever Consumed is a pickable card. Shroud Mitosis and Shroud Spike are not. There's called Kalia. So if I want to play this sweep line, I can. I really do. Like, I really, really do. I think it's bad. But I want to try it. I'm going to go for it. And then we just take double draw on this run. I feel like the sweep line opens up so much potential value. There's no infusion for a ring, though. And we don't get a net, any Steel Shop upgrades until after Arcus, which is really, that's where it's going to be troubling. I don't know how you kill Arcus with this setup. I guess with a good, well-timed Prismal Dust, you kill Arcus. That's a later problem. I'm going to look for artifacts to make life easier. Mark of an Exile is good, especially if it's Superfood here. It is Superfood, so Arcus will be a lot easier now because we're going to have a ton of health. A load of it. I feel passable about this run. I think Chase Seraph is the big roadblock, but we can stockpile our money. The Steel Shop being so far away and not being a guarantee is a real shame, but we'll overcome it. I'm gonna play for the Sweeper. I think it's probably best. Did you have... That enemy infused down there? Can you see? I don't think it's infused. I think I discard Frozen Lance. Yeah, it's not infused. Let's go. If it is infused, I have to keep Frozen Lance to kill it. But I didn't. Did not have to. Okay. I mean, there's no incants up here, so I'm free to play these as I sofa. As I see fit. As I sofa? Yeah, as I sofa. Sofa D. Anyway. But no, I think that the wind condition here is going to be scaling through, uh... Good for Frozen Lance there. Scaling through Rage quickly. It's Void Binding. The answer is Void Binding. The answer to the question that you are you are seeking is Void Binding. I'm aware, you're aware, it's all Void Binding. Uh, this is definitely Prismal Dust on Primordium, by the way. Not playing that is wrong. We're going to get a little bit of damage on us here and there. Until we... It doesn't matter if I Quick Builder because this Guardian takes the same amount of damage because of Sweep, but because we're not quite scaling as fast as I need to, I'm going to be uh, let taking a little bit of chip damage. I have the health to take chip damage, which I can then convert into uh, enough, basically. Like, we should be able to convert this run, no problem. I hope. Would like to kill these 9-2s before they walk up, though. That would be very good. Six damage shield. Not as good as you may think because it's spikes here. But grab some morsel makings. Ooh-ah, ooh -ah, indeed. Uh, no Plankus. But we have 118 on the damage front. Yeah, we have enough. Great job, Plank. Great job, Plank. Everyone, round of applause for Plank. And the damage shield. Yeah, so Superfood makes this doable. One Void Binding, and I think this run is over. Grovel, not so much. Cannibalize, not so much. We hold the hope. Keep the faith. I take on Name Tone. Card's very good.
I'm gonna go duplicate. I think a second perils is the al the alternate win condition here, is to play two spell chain perils with duplicate. Value stone. Maybe there's a cool thing here. Trade fire health away. I don't want to trade fire health away. I don't think that's correct. No, I don't think so. Just not worth it. I need my fire health. So we're gonna do our infusion now. Siren into Cold Kaelia. I think if we can get past Arcus, this run is winnable. So I need to start thinking about how I do that. And the answer is gonna be probably actually I was gonna duplicate perils, but I think it's actually damage shield. Elvent's here, here though, so I don't have a steel shop coming. Or I don't have another duplicate in a good spot. Let's take a second perils for now. If there was a spell chain there, I also think this would be done and dusted. Ooh, scary. No spikes. Or if I had a quick, I think we'd be chilling. We have the spells now. Oh, this is sweet, boss. I'm gonna wait on silence and silence this way. That should be enough damage shield for me to beat anything. But this is a lot of hits coming in, but it's like 30 damage. It's 24 damage shield I just played there. Any amount of hits I can stop now are worthwhile, though. Maybe even... I'm gonna stop most. Almost all. I just play one Frozen Lights. Energy Morsel is completely worthless, though. But we'll see. I have another... No, I don't have another Prisma Dust, right? I took Second Perils. Never mind. Second Perils does give me a similar effect to another Prisma Dust here. Another Plink would be good here. I have faith in Plink. Wow, Plink! Wow! Plink did it! Oh my god, everyone, please clap for Plink. Everyone, I need a round of applause stat for Plink. It did it. We got him. I'm gonna put the Crypt Builder here. There's no change in outcome if I kill the front one, but there's a slight chance if I draw another Crypt Builder like this that I can Builder, build, or sorry, Builder. And it doesn't make a difference because of the Frozen Lights, but it could have made a difference. And that's what matters. 15 damage shield, 222 attack, it should be all good from here. If you're, if you're interested, which I am a little, I wonder how much I'm getting out of Siren of the Sea in an average turn. It's at least two. It's probably about five to six, right? Which is on par with Morsel Maker. Morsel Maker might just be better, though. I feel like the average outcome is better. These are bad. Frenzied Swarm is good. Don't overlook Frenzied Swarm there. Alright. I'm not going to the Trinket Shop because uh, what am I going to find there? I do believe the worst card is Frozen Lance. Blink is better. Frozen Lance is just very bad, though. I always play all my spells. Icicle Fracture is bad with Frenzied Swarm. I take Firewall here. The magic shop first, but I should check. I, this is like this right here is one of the most. Uh, I I, per I personally believe this is one of the hardest decisions of which one are you supposed to do first because I think that there's no correct answer. But I'm pretty sure you go to the caverns first unless you're going to a skill shop. Yeah, because caverns could give you this event and build a card, and this is a game changer a lot of times. Rage effect, buff effect. Uh, I actually at this point in the game I'd rather take card draw. Rage 4, plus 10 attack. This card is like, that is a game winning pickup right there. If I can put a hole over on that card, that is ridiculous. I can definitely afford a minus 1. Plus 10 for Plink is fine. Plink's here to stay, it sounds like. No permafrost. I was gonna say, basically everything you can show me here is good. Double stack is bad. Give me a double stack on Prismal Dust. Oh, did I pass value stones with Prismal Dust in my deck? I sure did. That's a shame. Oh well. I'm gonna give it a minus one. All I want to do now is give it minus ones. And then if I can, I'd like to duplicate it. But we'll see. Prismal Dust is our win condition for Arcus. I feel pretty good about this, though. Despite Umbra having some of the most disgustingly bad units in video gaming history, it has really good, like, game-changing spells for you, so it's a bit of a toss-up. 
Link has to be good. I want to play bottom floor because I want to not take curses. I think it's sometimes very bad, but I think here Plink has to save me. It has no choice, yeah. Ideally it would double hit the Absolver, but this is also fine. And I want to save my Siren the hit. But the first two rounds are free here, so I just go in. i go for the max in camp play. Saving on Name Tome, I don't think there's anything particularly important to save it for. But I'm saving it nonetheless. One of those perils, we actually just like ace these enemies, which is crazy. The scaling is good enough. The second peril pushes you over the edge. Mm, Prismal Dust a little late, but I still get 24 damage shield out of it, which is pretty good, I guess. Good turn to draw double dead weight as well. 24 is probably enough. Draw it a little earlier and things are a little bit better. I should be putting this here now. I want to start using Plank to... Or not Plank, but making a little morsel to save little bits of health. And by health I mean damage shield, of course. One Frozen Lance. Also very lucky that this is not an incant combat, because an incant combat would really throw us for a loop here. I believe... I should not have believed. I'm sorry, Plank. My mistake. Uh, we should still do enough, right? 22... If this was if this was Fell, I think we would be in a little bit more of a tricky spot, but for Arcus, I think we're fine. I should just play this. It's good here. Stop the clip shot and hit. I'd like to say I was planning for that, but I wasn't. I was just waiting to see what it would give me, which is fine in its own right. 19 damage shield, no problem. This run actually came together really well. Thank you, Perils of Production. I don't want a spike. Neither one is good here. I don't need energy, of course. I don't need space. This is definitely a double draw run. You know I love double draw. I love drawing cards. Let's go see multi-strike quick in this shop. Multi-strike? Okay. How about a quick? Okay, Monster Train. A multi-strike quick shove? You're too kind, Monster Train. Oh, you're too kind. I don't need Bone Dog. I need to get rid of Frozen Lance. Life is a dream. Truly, truly life is a dream. You know, I mentioned a little while ago. No, not too long ago. First of all, hold on. Damage Shield 2 gives me insulation against the Divinity, where Stalwart Snack 2 gives me more value in the long term. I don't need value in the long term, except for Chase Seraph, I do. Chase Seraph is the big roadblock. This is close. I think I actually want to take Stalwart Snack 2 here. I think Chase Seraph is going to give me a lot of trouble, and I need to take this. Other, I don't think the Divinity is a big issue. Pardon me, I want to go... Plus 30, plus 10. I... I want to duplicate what? Prismal Dust, ideally. Plus 30 plus 10 are pretty bad. I'm gonna save it and I'll take 25 in the next one. Anyway, the other Monster Train content creators, I've seen them moving into uh, like those 200 pack shards runs, which I've talked about a little bit. Uh, Mark of Invasion. I have Quick, so this is 15 damage, which does kill Siren of the Sea, Cold Kaelia. But if I play one spell, she lives. It should be fine. Mm, the next turn does 20, guaranteed. No, I think this is... Mm, I think it's bad. I think it's bad. Move on. But what I was thinking is, what if I started a series? I mean, I wouldn't start another series. I would probably just pivot this series, and I would make the goal to be finishing all my runs in under 30 minutes. Instead of making my goal be uh, high pack shards, I just make my goal be how fast can I make all my decisions. Because I feel like I'm pretty good at making my choices in this game very quickly. And it leads to a, a reasonable amount of success, but sometimes I get caught as well. Sometimes I get caught. It's true. No, just a thought. So our, our win condition for... The reason I took the Stalwart Snack is because of old magic. Old magic gives me actual, like, permascaling that doesn't get cut by Chase Seraph. Which is good, and will help us quite a bit. 
barely enough, but it's enough. Yeah, let me know what you think about the a, a, I'm already kind of doing that, I guess, so I just have to rebrand the series. The Monster Train Speedrun series. I don't know about that, but sometimes I take my time on runs. It's not it's, it's nothing to really sweat about, I feel, either way. Just something that could be fun. Play to my strength, which is clicking cards fast and making my choices fast while talking. I've had like three years of experience, because before this I played a lot of Slay the Spire, and I played Slay the Spire very fast. I did not win a lot, but I did go fast. I think this run is just gonna... It's, if it crashes here, it crashes because of the Chase Seraph. Definitely, like without a doubt it crashes on Chase Seraph, Chase the Seraph here. Because I'm all about buffs, and Chase Seraph is going to eat me alive for that. I think it's still, it's still fine, it's still doable, it just sucks. These cards are bad. Could maybe take Ice Storm, but I'm okay. Hitting in that Steel Chop is very good for us. The end. Move on. Uh, I want to look at the temple here first. Value Stone is very good. X plus 2 Prismal Dust is excellent. And then we take plus 10 Piercing. Maybe not, maybe I actually just take a uh, Hellvent. No, I want to Hellvent Old Magic, actually. I want to Hellvent Old Magic for sure. Help me with Seraph the Chaste, so I shall. Mm, I should check for Holdover first. Double stack. No, I don't want that. Hang on, let me, before I do this, let me check the trinket shop. Chain of Gems is okay. If you, like, Chain of Gems is good for the Divinity, right? That's a Divinity pick. Am I particularly worried about the Divinity? Eh. I want to keep one Frozen Lance, because it can kill five threes, which I think exist on this fight, but I don't remember for sure. I think I take this and I take the damage shield too. It gives us a little bit of insulation, which I care for. 100 pack shards, ready to go, money all spent, let's do it. I think that this fight is going to be hard. I don't think it's impossible though. Make sure you play Primordium first. So what we want to do is we want to take turns like this one, where I can play a Morsel on a different floor, to try and bait away Seraph. Like whenever I can, I want to bait Chase Seraph away. That's really important to winning this run. Also double magic on turn two should set us right. 16 damage shield. I think you do play it now because 16 times 7, I guess it's going to get cut down quite a bit by Seraph the Chase, but it's still going to be a lot of damage shield nonetheless. I sadly don't think I can make a morsel live here. Maybe you can. Maybe. I wonder if you can... Here's an interesting question. I don't actually know this. Can I put Flash Freeze on this enemy and then bait Seraph to purge its Frostbite instead of going... Uh, going on me here? I'm not sure. I am not going to get hit here. I also, I can beat this because of Chain of Gems. I have to go mid floor. And then it's like... the Plink here. Oh, Plink. There you go, Plink. Good job. Oh, Plink. And then one of them lives. Okay. You put Forever Consume there and that's the trick. If I can, like, save myself... I guess I do take an Ember Drain for that, but Ember Drain is meaningless. Now, did he come down here for the Frostbite or because of the Morsel? That's a question that you'll have to solve out for yourself, because I don't know. However, we're getting there now. We're pretty close to the number we need. And I want to... Just kill this enemy. Okay. He has to go top court here, no doubt about that. But that's fine, because now we're at 159 times 2. We're at a one, we're at enough baseline to kill, I think, no matter what. You can also continue to fight the good fight with Morsels here. Chain of Gems ended up being way better than I expected it would. Chain of Gems, extremely good. 
Because it's going to let me bait chase her up away occasionally. My damage shield's going to end up being a little lower than I expected, but... Not that much lower, actually. I think that Chase Seraph can't come up here again. He shouldn't be able to come up here again, more accurately. I'm gonna put that morsel there. Oh, no, what? One... Oh, he's only at one damage shield? Oh, what a shame. Well, never mind, I've been bad. That one's killer. But, I think my damage is high enough that even only five damage shield... I mean, one, 150 health, by the way. I'm really sweating nothing. I think, anyway. I hope, anyway. I think maybe you can bait Chaser by debuffing other enemies. It's definitely worth investigating. I also get some value from more souls. Yeah, we're gonna end up pretty high anyway. Alright, we're good. It was a little touch and go, but I think like the early game was where it was bad, the first few turns, because once we get to this point, of course, we are out of control. I think the draw plus one per turn was also the right call, as much as I do like money. I'm a big fan of the Cashola. Hey, yeah, you do get 28 damage through. I can fix that, hold on. There you go. Great job, buddy. Yeah. So it turns out, unit that says Sweep plus Primordium, life finds a way. Crazy how nature do that, isn't it? And now we took the Chain of Gems, so we have insulation against dying to this fight randomly. Assuming a bad draw here, which of course I am. Just check it. It'd be better if there was a... I guess I'll take 240, but it'd be better if there was a damage shield on top there. There it is, okay. And now we're just like 16 damage shield on easy street. Siren's gonna have but maybe not enough damage shield, actually. I have to watch this Spike's enemy and stop it where I can. If I can, I should say. Because this takes a lot. You can try Plink. You gave it you gave it a good effort, Plink. I'll give it to you. I can flash freeze this enemy. That's fine. Crypt Builder. We may as well play it out, right? But also, I guess one of the things that I think is a little uh, uncool about doing a try to beat every run in under 30 minutes sort of idea is I, I, maybe not uncool but the hard part of the run would be gauging when I can stop playing cards and like making sure I'm estimating properly everything. I've played a lot though so like maybe I can do it. I don't know. Maybe I can do it. Play those. You're frightening. Ah oh, no he's not. He's dead right? I should scale anyway. Plague, and then a forever consume here. Yeah, the making of a morsel isn't too bad. Oh yeah, also 423 times too quick. Okay. Alright, alright, never mind. Everything's fine. This is over. Done and dusted for sure. Would love to flash freeze. Flash freeze did not realize the crazy utility it has of killing this enemy if you draw it on the same turn. Through through the shield and everything, it just pops them. Now I think we're there with the, yeah, the Divinity's dead next round. Cool. Good fight. Pick Sweeper. GG. Close one, though. Real close, I gotta say. I think that one was interesting, because it was it, there were times where it could have gone against me a little bit. But we get there, we get there, we take these. Run done. I wonder what my time was. I can gauge it based on the, the recording length. I think this one was like... I think this one was probably just over 30 minutes. It was like 31 minutes, if I were to guess, is what it would say on the end screen. I think 30 minutes is really hard to reach, though. 32, 43. Under 35, I think I can do consistently, but 30 minutes? That's pretty rough. I'm probably not going to sweat it too much, but in the back of my mind, I'm going to keep it. Because, like, I think doing random seed speed runs is fun. I'm not going to stick to it either way, I, or not, like, adhere to it 100%. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.